Hi everyone, myself D. Devus Gamani, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this video, we are going to discuss SCADA and its applications. First of all, what is meant by SCADA? SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. SCADA is very familiar in industries. SCADA is nothing but combination of software and hardware. When we talk about industrial automation, SCADA and PLCs are very much useful and it's a main integral part of an automation system. And SCADA has been a centralized one. It's completely takes the entire area of a plant. And SCADA is not a new one. It's already evolved in the year of 1970s and at elementary systems. Now it's been applied in all types of applications. And SCADA is not only for uh, process industries. Now it's been evolved in all types of industries like even commercial applications also we can use SCADA. And SCADA is a centralized system which consists of networks, IOs, communication interfaces as well as software. And SCADA takes the reading of meters, all the meters and check the status of sensors, IOs at a regular interval of time. So we can reduce uh, human interventions by ensuring exact automation of our industries. And supervisory control and data acquisition system. So it can collect measurements, SCADA collects measurements and status of information. We can monitor the process remotely as well as we can have a centralized system over the system and it's completely distributed IO. The purpose of SCADA is uh, we can able to monitor as well as control the functions. We implement alarm functions, data presentation as well as data acquisition system. And why, why we go for SCADA? If you use SCADA, we get the following benefits like we can save time and money and less traveling of workers. It's completely automatic one. We can reduce the manual interventions which increase productivity and of a company. And it, since it's cost effective, we can save energy reliable as well as superior control over, over the system. And what are the devices controlled by SCADA? So this is a SCADA room and uh, this, is com this is the SCADA room called a control room. And SCADA can control the following devices like uh, switching devices, tab changes. We can control the status of information like on-off information, uh, discrete IOs, analog IOs, everything has been completely controlled by SCADA. And switching devices like uh, IGBT, SCR, everything has been uh, controlled by SCADA. And shun capacitor, reactors, generator set points, excitation and power output as well as sequential control where sequential control is nothing but PLCs. So PLC is an integral part of SCADA where all the tasks has been completely carried over with the help of PLCs. And this is simple schematic of SCADA system. SCADA consists of three, three parts. One is control room, another one is RTU and third one is IDE that is plant area. So control room this is the server where all the decision has been taken place. The SCADA commands has been uh, connected via the servers with the help of this is a server and this is an RTU. RTU is nothing but remote terminal unit where all the device has been connected. So RTU is a microprocessor based device. It's completely uh, connected, directly connected via the servers. Uh, it's directly connected to the field devices like temperature sensors and uh, pressure and level systems. And next one is plant. So plant is nothing but field area where PLCs has been completely connected. All the sensors and transistors are directly connected with the field devices of PLC. So where all the distance has been controlled with the help of SCADA system. And how SCADA system works? Generally SCADA is a centralized system which can able to monitor and control for entire plant area. SCADA is a combination of software and hardware where the software is uh, pushed in top of the hardware. It's a completely supervised system which gathers information of entire plant. So SCADA is also called as MTU that is nothing but master terminal unit where all the decision has been taken place in that area. It's completely uh, bi-direction. So it can't be a single one. It's uh, each and every time it's been bi-directionally connected to the field devices. So most of the actions can take automatically with the help of RTUs as well as PLCs. So this is a simple structure of SCADA. So these are the key elements of SCADA like HMI, communication interface, PLCs, programming device, RTU as well as supervised system. So PLC is an integral part of SCADA. So all the devices has been established with the help of PLCs and the communication. So SCADA can able to communicate all the devices like uh, all modern communications like uh, field bus, profi bus, even uh, wireless communications also can be uh, compatible with SCADA. And HMI, HMI is nothing but human machine interface. So it's a programming unit where it can directly interface with human as well as system. We can enter uh, all the programs and control actions with the help of HMI unit. And supervisor system, supervisor system is nothing but uh, separate station, separate control station of a SCADA. 
since uh, it, it, it equip with large areas. Then RTU, RTU is nothing but remote terminal unit. It's a microprocessor system. It's completely taken over by the uh, simple uh, applications. And this is an integral SCADA architecture where all the systems has been connected via TCP and IP protocols. So this is a host, a SCADA host device. So all the, has, all the communication has been established with the help of TCP and IP protocols and everything has been distributed via RTU. And this is nothing but field devices like PLCs, circuit breakers, relays and everything has completely uh, designated uh, protocols. It's completely connected via all the protocols. And these are the SCADA components, uh, MTU, SCADA master terminal unit. Uh, this, is a, this is the server, main server where all the system has been connected in this MTU, which can take uh, major uh, decisions, which can take all the communication aspects in this MTU. Next, RTU. RTU is a telemetry unit that is remote terminal unit, which uh, microprocessor system, it directly connected the uh, uh, remote stations. It's uh, located in remote station itself, it directly connected off all the sensors and transducers. Next, IED. IED is nothing but intelligent electron device. It's a smart instrument. It's mainly implemented uh, to acquire the data from the uh, devices like uh, circuit breakers, transformers, all the power sector units has been directly connected with the help of IEDs. And the fourth one is HMI. HMI is a human machine interface. It's uh, nothing but a software. Uh, it's a directly interference of a human, human uh, with the help of human, where all the interaction and visualization takes place in this HMI. And this is the overall SCADA system. It can majorly SCADA has been split into three areas. One is control center, uh, communication center, as well field center. Control center is nothing but this is HMI unit or engineering workstations. All the decision has been taken place in this area where all the communication protocol has been established in this control center. This is completely bidirectional. So all the data history and routers, servers has been connected in this control area. This is nothing but MTU, master terminal unit. Next, it's followed with communication area. So there are different type of communication exist in this SCADA, like a satellite communication, even LAN communication, WAN communication, radio and microwave cellular communication. Even we, we exist, uh, even we can establish uh, a power line communication also for a large uh, industrial application. Since it's large area, we can establish uh, power line communication also. Then it's followed with field devices. So all the devices like uh, sensors, transducers, relays and motors, gears, everything has been directly interfaced with the field communication protocols and field devices like uh, PLCs, IDEs, as well as RTUs for uh, better uh, establishment of a SCADA system. The next one, control center. This is nothing but MTU, master terminal unit. So this is the control center, uh, this is the actual lookout of HMI unit, control center, where all the control actions has been takes place in this area. It's completely automatic and it's uh, engineer, it's, uh, other name is engineering workstation. It consists of servers, host servers, everything can be communicated via MTU in order to take uh, any functions, in order to take any control outputs as well as any decisions. And it can be connected for all regional center also, it's like it can be connected for uh, uh, subsystem also and these are the visualizations of control center like html wizards trend display event viewer remote monitor system configuration everything has been visualized in this empty unit next one hmi hmi is nothing but the it is an interface between human and machine it can have an input as well as output the inputs can be a keyboard mouse and touch screen the output may be printouts uh, audios as well as screen it established communication between operator as well as machine. Then RTU, RTU is nothing but remote terminal unit. This is the exact RTU server. This is the server uh, RTU and it's a microprocessor, uh, microprocessor control device. It's directly interface the physical object where we can give distributed IOs to the system. It established a telemetry unit of a SCADA system. Next, the communication. The communication has been established with the help of WAN as well as all modern protocols. WAN is a specialized device used for uh, analog point to point as well as multi point communications. Uh, even a wireless satellite device also we can use. And we establish fiber optic cables also for uh, better communication protocols. And uh, we use uh, modern protocols in our uh, SCADA applications like uh, Modbus, Profibus, uh, IECs. These are uh, dedicated uh, protocols which uh, normally used in all process industries for uh, better communication networks. And next one, field components are IED. IED stands for Intelligent Electronic Devices. 
this is specially uh, designed devices for power system applications like it can read some meter data such as volts uh, uh, voltage ampere megawatts and mvr everything has been uh, reads with the help of ied components it acquires data directly from the devices like relay circuit breakers mcbs as well as transformers it can be dedicated application for uh, power system areas and next one field components so field components are directly linked with the uh, uh, field systems like sensors and transducers and relays it can send data to mtu where uh, it's waiting for uh, command from the devices it can take automatically uh, receive the settings as well as receive from the mtu it's a telemetry unit so and these are the different types of scada systems available now first one uh, so, so there are four generation systems first generation second generation third as well as fourth generation first generation is monolithic or early scada system second one is distributed scada system third one is network scada system and fourth one is iot based scada system let us see one by one first one is monolithic or early scada systems it's completely uh, limited one it's a early intervention model uh, scada system uh, so this is only a single directional control where uh, mini computers has been used only a single uh, control ex exists in the system it's very very limited it's only one of the oldest version and next distributed so this is somewhat uh, developed from the early one this is distributed distributed in the sense separate units has been taken out in this scada where the systems has been called as operating system uh, all the system has been connected via lan lan network where we established distributed ios communication and third one is networks it completely network oriented where wide area network has been connected here it established different communication servers and network rtus and mtus so this uh, this uh, type of communication has been established in nowadays in our industries and the law and the now recent days uh, it's a it's a very useful as well as scada this is iot based scada uh, this is the recent development in scada system because iot has been evolved in scada applications where all the information has been stored in cloud area where we get the decisions from the cloud information so it's completely wireless all the information has been taken out in a very fast manner and next we move, we move on to applications of scada we have uh, all the applications like uh, process control industries we can use scada in all industries like uh, manufacturing industries process control industries chemical plant power system energy healthcare industry oil and gas industry so scada not only applicable for indus uh, applicable for engineering industries it can be applied for all commercial industries like all commercial applications like railways transportations uh, nuclear and gas hydro generation plants so this is a, a scheme of scada application in power system so in power system application scada can take entire areas like entire applications like uh, uh, power generation utilization as well as uh, transmission so if each and every substation has been connected via remote substation it's connected to the scada master terminal unit where, master terminal unit where all the decision has been taken place in this area so everything has been connected in uh, via the smart grids in the advanced protocols and this is scada application in wastewater treatment plant so all the process has been lined in this here the process like uh, backwashing filtering sedimentation and uh, water level indication temperature control pressure control all the process has been uh, lined all the process has been completely interfaced with scada in order to automatic uh, exist of nature so everything has been automated in manner where uh, complete uh, water treatment uh, process has been taken place in this uh, scada system and this is a scada front end for food and beverage industries so these are the different kilns and uh, boiler areas where all the valves has been uh, connected here so if any malfunction is occurred the valve has been directly indicated in the screen so where we take addition in a quick manner so this is one of the illustration for food and beverage industry applications so these are uh, typical uh, scada illustrations so this is a scada diagram it's completely uh, pictorial view so we have all the information in this front end front end alone like uh, pump status pump areas and pump status manual or set point area percentage of set point gpm filtration level everything has been pictureized in this area if any mal function is occurred if any sensor is damaged or any sensor is not connected it's directly immediately indicated with the help of uh, red color indications with the help of in the front screen so this is another scada illustration for uh, controller aspects so these are the controller uh, view so the controller these are the different mode of controllers like mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 this is controller set point 
So all the control actions has been completely uh, visualized in the front screen. So this is a PLC status. If it's green means it's uh, running good. If any mall function is occurred, it's been visualized in the red color. And these are the different set point levels. And this is uh, one a simple animation of SCADA in a front screen. So uh, uh, the green color indicates in feet belt conveyor and red color indicates in feet pedal conveyor. So the conveyor is connected via the control uh, valves. So this is the inlet valve and output valve. If conveyor is uh, kind of moved down, the, it's been a green color and it's away from the device, it's indicated in the red color. This is simple animated view of a SCADA front end. And next one, we move on to manufacture of SCADA. So the SCADA softwares, so these are the manufacturers, SCADA softwares uh, in nowadays. So first one, Wonderware. So this is very uh, familiar and most of the industries have been adopted this uh, software uh, called uh, InTouch software and InTouch Wonderware. And there are some other softwares available like Allen Broadly, SciTech, Simatic, WinCC, Rockwell Automation Software, Intellivision, Iconix and Simplicity SCADA. So these are the different uh, SCADA manufacturers. Uh, available in industries. And next SCADA advantages and limitations. So while implementing SCADA we get uh, monitoring and control of 24 into 7 for entire plant. It reduces cost. Uh, having a reliable automation system it's completely automated. We can have superior control over our application level and uh, easy to control for any areas. It can be applied for large remote plant. And there are some limitations also, uh, cyber threats and script kitties, these are some limitations. But nowadays, uh, more, um, nowadays many technology advancements have been evolved in order to, in order to overcome this type of problems. In, uh, now, uh, so many technologies are available to overcome this problem. And these are the references. Thank you.